down this whole path of trying to understand what is it that Shift Your Brilliance is all about. Genius Your Brilliance is your insight, it's your potential, it's your it factor. When you are living your genius and doing what you love, you are in flow. When you are in flow, there is internal alignment that creates an external execution. Let me say it to you a different way. When a person is in their brilliance, there is an alignment of head, heart, and hands. When there is an alignment of head, heart, and hands, the moment people step into your matrix, they pick up on that you have discovered your inner Neo, that you are the one. So you're never threatened by other people because you have so mastered your lane that you realize when I overcome the comparison inferiority complex and operate in my brilliance, when my head, my heart, and my hands are aligned, my feet will follow. And what will happen is I will show up at a place called there. But there is not a place that I get there physically. There happens in here. And when there happens in here, you tap into your brilliance. You move from trying to make something happen, and you start to, the universe starts to bend in your direction, and you start to pull things to you. Come on now. <laughs> so when I shift my brilliance, what you discover is what you want wants you. The phone was seeking the bell. Rubber was seeking the tire. The steering wheel was seeking the car. So when I shift my brilliance, I will never get impregnated with an idea unless everyone who has been called to assist me and aid me already exists. That's right. So the reason I have to go through failure is because if you looked in the dictionary, failure comes before success. And failure is not final, failure is only feedback. And feedback is the breakfast of champions. <laughs> so when I begin to understand this whole thing of shifting my brilliance, so I wrote really shift brilliance, I wrote it from a very deep place, because my mentor said to me, he says, how are you doing? And I said, well, if I, living here in America, if I had white skin, blonde hair, blue eyes, it would be very easy for me to succeed in America. And he said to me, you weren't born to fit in, you were born to be brilliant.